and welcome to Frank the Hippie Pope, the show where I say things and confuse everyone in the world when I say things. Here's how the show works. You call and ask me a loaded question. I answer in a way that makes it sound like I'm overturning official Catholic doctrine. And then my producer Jeff runs damage control. Isn't that right, Jeff? That's right. Are you totally psyched for today's show? Not really, no. Okay, so let's begin. Caller number one, what's your question? Yeah, so when's the Catholic Church going to stop getting all bad shape about abortion? Dude, I know, right? It's like there's so many more positive things to talk about. Like God made butterflies and stuff. What? I don't get it. Is the Catholic Church pro-choice now? Uh, Jeff? The Catechism of the Catholic Church states, Since the first century, the Church has affirmed the moral evil of every procured abortion. This teaching has not changed and remains unchangeable. Despite his sloppy wording, Pope Francis is in no way overturning this position or speaking against it. Thank you, Jeff. Also, the reason so many churches obsess over abortion is probably because approximately 42 million innocent children throughout the world are murdered in the womb every year. Oh, that's right. Okay, caller number two. Yeah, so God is totally cool with homosexuality, right? Dude, God is cool with everyone. So you're fine with gay marriage now? No, Pope Francis is not fine with gay marriage. He holds to the official position of the Catholic Church, which is that homosexual activity is sinful and that marriage is, by nature and God's command, the union of one man and one woman. What the Pope probably meant was that Jesus died for those who endure same-sex attraction and wants them to find forgiveness in the life of the Church. Yeah, that's what I just said, right? No, it is not. You gave the impression that God doesn't require people who engage in homosexual activity to repent. Well, yeah, but if a guy is like, dude, I'm a gay Christian, like, who am I to judge, you know? You're the Pope? The Supreme Pontiff? The true Vicar of Christ, the head of the whole church, and father and teacher of all Christians. To you, full power has been given to tend, rule, and govern the universal church. According to the group of people that you lead, there is literally no one on the face of the planet more qualified to judge than you. Oh, man, was I supposed to get, like, a manual with this job? Because I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, like, all the time. Next caller. Yeah, I was wondering, what do you think is the most evil thing in the world right now? Youth unemployment. Seriously? Are you serious? No, he absolutely cannot be serious, because that would just be... Unbelief, violence, warfare, slavery, child abuse, murderous persecution of Christians, the destruction of the family, AIDS, malaria, Ebola. That's ten things off the top of my head that are infinitely worse than youth unemployment. So clearly his high holiness didn't understand the question. Yeah, let me try that one again. Can you, like, re-ask that? Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. <laughs> Caller number four. Yeah, I'm an atheist. Can I still go to heaven? Dude, as long as it's not your fault that you don't believe in Jesus, you got a real good shot at making it, bro. Oh, then you're totally going to hell. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't need to correct any of that.